here is the Big Ruckus. It is very much the big brother of the Little Ruckus, which I reviewed a while ago. And I wanted to show you a little bit about this bike. It is pretty big. It's a 250cc single, uh, single cylinder scooter. It's um, the 250cc scooter by Honda, but it's a very industrial look, kind of like the uh, Honda Ruckus, the small Honda Ruckus. I wanted to show you really quick one of the best features of the scooter. It's really its carrying capacity. And right now, you have a seat here and a seat here. But look at this, with the key, you can put it here, turn it, and now you have this handle, pull it up, you have a lot of available space for cargo. And here it says cargo limit, 20 kilograms, 45 pounds, which is actually pretty good for a scooter. And you have these massive rails here so you can grab onto it and just help you tie things down using straps like this. So you can sit on the scooter and just relax. The way you sit on this bike, <clears throat> it's, you know, because the motor is a little bit larger, you put your feet right here in these almost cruiser-like um, floorboards. It still feels like very much like a scooter, it's very comfortable, but I do wish there was more like positioning for it. I guess you can put your feet like this, but it is fine. Honda definitely has given you plenty of um, frame to actually tie things down. So right here you can put, for example, your sleeping bag or your tent, and you have like this amount of storage for carrying things. And I've seen that in bicycles. So it looks like Honda took a cue from touring bicyclists when they have racks up in the front. So you have this amount to store things, which is pretty nice. You can put a lot of things there. You have your handbrake. So to just activate the handbrake, you just push it down and it locks you here a little bit of a snap. To unlock it, you just push it down and up and that's it. The exhaust sounds pretty good. It sounds very much like a motorcycle instead of a scooter. And check this out. This thing, it's got a kickstand and a center stand. Right here you have a little bit of a compartment, nothing to store, basically you just have your gas cap and your coolant. Honestly, I'm a little confused as to who would buy this motorcycle or this scooter. There certainly are better scooters out there for the price and the same displacement. Yeah, you know, just riding around this bike, I just wonder who would buy it. I don't understand who the buyers for this bike are. I get the little Honda Ruckus, the 50cc version, but this, uh, I think if you want to get something like this, you're much better off with a 250cc Honda Reflex or something like that, that, that actually looks like a scooter. If you're really that concerned about trying to seem cool by buying an industrial looking scooter, maybe don't get a scooter. Get like a, a Triumph Speed Triple. They're much cooler. I, yeah, I think just this scooter is all about style and nothing else. Like it really doesn't do anything particularly great other than having like a seat, like a reclining seat sort of thing. And if that's the case, I mean, why pay top dollar for such a thing? On the used market, these scooters sell a little bit high, and for the what you get, you really shouldn't be buying anything like this. If you really just need transportation, a Honda Elite, for example, is much better. But I think if you are concerned with style, this thing appeals to you, then you know there's nothing I can t tell you not to buy it. But it is a good bike if you want to haul things around and look a little bit different. I know that a lot of guys pick motorcycles based on the wow factor and they must be looked at by other people. Uh, that's what the scooter is. It's like for big dorks and geeks who need a little bit of attention.